I was reading about some technology where they think they could take nuclear waste and convert it into batteries. I have not heard that one. See if you can find that. There was a process of uh, uh, processing nuclear waste and converting it into uh, a renewable resource. It's a nice thought. Great thought. Yeah. If the aliens could come down and give us some new tech. But as of what we have right now, you're not aware of anything that could do that? No, no. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think solar and wind, especially wind, are great in the places where they work. Here it says radioactive waste can be recycled to create diamond batteries. Scientists involved in American Startup for the Development of Nano Diamond Batteries are trying to turn radioactive waste into batteries. NDB is a perpetual green self-charging battery made from recycled nuclear waste isotope combined with layers of nano diamonds in a battery cell. Ex extremely good thermal conductivity of micro diamonds causes heat removal from radioactive isotopes, so the process of generating electricity is fast. NDB hmm. generates electricity similar to that obtained from solar panels, but uses radioactive decay energy instead of sunlight. An NDB battery usually consists of three main components, an isotope, a converter, and a storage unit. Due to the delay, d decay rather, isotope radiation is transformed into electrical energy in the converter. The storage unit accumulates energy for future use. We're problem solved, bro. Yeah, just keep in mind that this is radioactive decay and that's what turns you into goo. So you're not going to put this in your watch. You're not going to have it in your car. You're going to have it at a fixed, secured location. Now, will that be like a power plant? Maybe, but wow, I hope nothing goes wrong. So these radioactive diamonds. It's a diamond layer over the waste, and then the waste is decaying, and then they conduct the heat somehow. In, so the, the decay is inside the diamond as right. long as the diamond doesn't get broken. I'm guessing that the diamond is there to absorb things like beta and gamma radiation. Hmm. But this, you believe, also very dangerous. Well, it's, it would require some very serious security issues, but at least from a chemical point of view, it sounds theoretically possible. The right. patented NDB universal self-charging battery provides a charge of up to 28,000 years of battery life. Yeah, the no life, more worried about your phones, yeah, bro. The, the, life, um, the half life of most of this stuff is in the thousands of years. So yeah, I guess technically that's true. Nano diamond batteries will be able to charge devices and machines of any size from aircrafts and rockets to electric vehicles, hearing aids, smartphones, sensors, and more. <laughs> I'm going to go with a hard no on that one. Really? Why? Yeah. You're going to put something that is powered by radioactive decay in your ear? But, but, but is this uh, an oversimplification? I mean, if you were really well versed in this technology, do you think there's always possible? a chance that if you prevent me with the facts, I'm going to change my mind? But radioactive decay is not something you fuck with. You're certainly not going to have it on your person. So you think this is all just pipe dreams? I think in that interpretation, it's a pipe dream because you think about what would happen if, if this is real and you can get a sizable one of these like for a car. Mm -hmm. All it takes is a pickaxe and all of a sudden somebody has a dirty bomb. Jesus. Yeah. Having it in a secured location where it provides energy to a grid? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe.